In this video, we'll be learning about various airport signs that provide information useful to pilots during takeoff, landing, and taxiing. There are six types of signs installed on airfields. These are mandatory instruction signs, location signs, direction signs, destination signs, information signs, and runway distance remaining signs. Mandatory instruction signs have a red background with a white text. They are used to indicate an entrance to a runway or critical areas where an aircraft is prohibited from entering. There are four examples of mandatory signs that we will explore. The first type is runway holding position sign. This sign is located at the holding position on taxiways that intersect a runway or on runways that intersect other runways. The text on the sign contains the designation of an intersecting runway. The runway numbers on the sign are arranged to correspond to the respective runway threshold. For example, 15 through 33 indicates that the threshold for runway 15 is to the left and that the threshold for runway 33 is to the right. The next mandatory sign we will learn about is runway approach area holding position signs. At some airports, it is necessary to hold onto an aircraft on a taxiway located in an approach or departure area for a runway so that the aircraft does not interfere with operations on that runway. In these situations, a sign with the designation of the approach end of the runway followed by a dash and letters A, P, C, H will be located at the holding position on the taxiway. In this example, the sign may protect the approach to runway 15 and or the departure for runway 33. The next type is ILS critical area holding position signs. At airports where the instrument landing system is being used, it is necessary to hold an aircraft on a taxiway. In these situations, the holding position sign for these operations will have the text ILS and be located adjacent to the runway holding position markings on taxiways. The last mandatory sign we will look at is the no entry sign. This sign basically prohibits an aircraft from entering an area. Typically, this sign would be located on a taxiway intended to be used in only one direction, or at the intersection of vehicle roadways with runways, taxiways, or aprons where the roadway may be mistaken as a taxiway or other aircraft movement surface. The second category of airport signs we will explore are location signs. Location signs are used to identify either a taxiway or a runway on which the aircraft is located. They also provide a visual cue to pilots to assist them in determining whether they have exited an area. There are various location signs that are important to learn about. Taxiway location signs have a black background with yellow text and a yellow border. The text is the designation of the taxiway on which the aircraft is located. These signs are installed along taxiways either by themselves or in conjunction with direction signs or runway holding position signs. Runway location signs also have a black background with a yellow text and a yellow border. The text is the designation of the runway on which the aircraft is located. These signs are intended to complement the information available to pilots through their magnetic compass and typically are installed where the proximity of two or more runways to one another could cause pilots to be confused as to which runway they are on. Runway boundary signs have a yellow background with a black text with a graphic depicting the pavement holding position marking. This sign, which faces the runway and is visible to the pilot exiting the runway, is located adjacent to the holding position marking on the pavement. The sign is intended to provide pilots with another visual cue which they can use as a guide in deciding whether they are clear of the runway. Direction signs have a yellow background with a black text. The text identifies the designation of the intersecting taxiway leading out of the intersection that a pilot would normally be expected to turn onto or hold short of. Each designation is accompanied by an arrow indicating the direction of the turn. In most cases, each taxiway's designation shown on the sign is accompanied by only one arrow. When more than one taxiway designation is shown on the sign, each designation and its assorted arrow is separated from the other taxiway designations by either a vertical message divider or a taxiway location sign. Destination signs also have a yellow background with a black text, indicating a destination on the airport. These signs always have an arrow showing the direction of the taxiing route to that destination. When the arrow on the destination sign indicates a turn, the sign is located prior to the intersection. Destinations commonly shown on these types of signs include runways, aprons, terminals, military areas, civil aviation areas, cargo areas, international areas, and fixed-based operators. 
an abbreviation may be used as the text on the sign for some of these destinations. When the text for two or more destinations having a common taxiing route are placed on a sign, the destinations are simply separated by a dot, and one arrow would be used. When the text on the sign contains two or more destinations having different taxiing routes, each destination will be accompanied by an arrow and will be separated from the other destinations on the sign with a vertical black message divider. Information signs have a yellow background with black text. They are used to provide a pilot with information on such things as areas that cannot be seen from the control tower, applicable radio frequencies, and noise abatement procedures. The airport operator determines the need, size, and location for these signs. Finally, runway distance remaining signs have a black background with a white numerical text and may be installed on one or both sides of the runway. The number on the signs indicates the distance of the landing runway remaining. This is indicated in thousands of feet. The last sign, the sign with the numeral 1, will be located at least 950 feet from the runway's end. In this video, we learned about the most common types of airport signs. For more details about these signs, you may visit the links provided in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching.